This ended up being a really fun exercise for my students. They actually wanted to repeat it the following week to see if they could do it better. And some of them even practice it at home. So it's one that tests the timing and communication of your dog, but doesn't give the handler very much time to think about their mo motion and movement. They just have to kind of do it. So we're going to break it apart here and see how it goes for you guys. So here I'm running Adam a Sheltie, and I want you to just kind of notice his path. It's very efficient. His turns are good. He knows where he's going next. He can prepare himself over the bar and he slices the jumps when he should. So looking at it in slow motion, I send to the number one backside, front cross, send to the number two backside, front cross, trying to get out of the way of my dog. I send them over into the SERP section of the course and shoulder pull and then that last front cross is important for a nice slice over the jump. Okay, now we'll look at some things that might go wrong and basically you just need to listen to your dog. So when they do mess up, just stop and figure out what went wrong. Your dog is your best instructor if you just listen to them. So um, they'll tell you if you sent them too wide around a path or you were too late or your cues were not timely enough. So when they do do something wrong, just take the time to try to figure it out and all of these you'll see I sent him exactly where he went, which wasn't necessarily the right place. Oh! 